K Black in the building here with a quick video. Now we all know that Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder has won his arbitration. And rightfully so. But it shouldn't have been an arbitration in the first place. He shouldn't have to go through this to get what he's rightfully owed because he had a rematch clause. A third fight was going to be put in place regardless. You know, I'm all about undisputed. I normally say undisputed over everything, but in this case, fuck undisputed. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury try to go on and have an undisputed bout without the brother Deontay DeBron's Bronze Bomber Wilder. This guy was owed his rematch. So, for all these motherfuckers that think that he's blocking uh, Undisputed, how about the motherfuckers that blocked his Undisputed? Remember that Tyson Fury was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder many, many moons ago? When Deontay Wilder knocked out Arthur Spilker, Tyson Fury jumped to the ring because he just beat Klitschko. And they were supposed to fight then. But we all know what happened. You know, Fury... Became a cokehead, got addicted to drugs, didn't know if he wanted to live or not. We all know what happened, man. So all the belts came, um, you know, he, he basically vacated all the damn belts. Okay? So Charles Martin and what was it, Glasgow fought for one of the belts, the IBF belt. You had Andy Ruiz and uh, Joseph Parker fight for the WBO belt. The WBA belt remained vacant. Martin won. Joseph Parker won. Martin fought fucking Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua beat George, uh, Charles Martin. So you had three belts. WBA uh, belt was still vacant. WBC belt was held by Deontay Wilder at this time. WBO belt was held by uh, Joseph Parker. And the IBF belt was held by uh, Anthony Joshua. You know? What ended up happening... Uh, Joshua ended up fighting Klitschko for the IBF belt, and they uh, put the WBA belt. So Joshua beat Klitschko, okay? And he had the IBF, IBF and the WBA. Then he ended up fighting Joseph Parker, so he had the WBO, the IBF, and the WBA. Him and fucking, uh, uh, not Fury, but him and Deontay Wilder was supposed to fight for Undisputed Thin. He ducked Wilder all those years, man. So Deontay Wilder could have been Undisputed. You know? And these motherfucking punk puss ass dudes trying to get together and make it an all UK type of fight and become undisputed. You know? And this shit, they've been trying to just downplay Deontay Wilder forever. Man, I remember even back in the day, man, when uh both Klitschko's had the belt. But Tally had the WBC belt, right? He ended up retiring. Because like, you know he wasn't gonna fight his brother Vladimir. Rightfully so. They brothers, right? So the best, basically, the heavyweight division was held by two two brothers, Vitaly and Vladimir. Vitaly retired, so Bermain Stavern had a rematch with Ariola. Bermain Stavern won the fight and won the WBC belt. The number one contender was Deontay Wilder. They were trying to pay Deontay Wilder to step aside at that time. I'm glad that he did, because if he didn't, if he, uh, if he did fucking step aside, we don't know, man, Deontay Wilder probably would never had the belt. Because Klitschko wanted to fight. You know, Bermain Stavern started to get un become undisputed. But, you know, Stavern lost to Wilder, and Wilder had those good all that, all that time until you, you know what happened when he fought Fury the last time. You know. It, it's just fucking crazy, man. Um, I just can't wait till the third fight to happen. You know, I don't know the location or when the actual date. But, you know, Tyson Fury signed his part of the, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, his, his part of the agreement to agree to the fight. So, um, I just can't wait for the fight to happen, you know, and let the king get his uh, throne back, like what he rightfully deserved, man. You know, uh, and I know Anthony Joshua's not going to fight uh, Fury. I mean, not he would, he would fight Fury, but I know he's not going to fight Deontay Wilder anyway, man. You know, it was crazy when Fury was going through everything he went through. It was Deontay Wilder who was basically motivated him to even come back to boxing, you know? And Deontay Wilder gave him a shot. He said, even though he was supposed to fight years ago, I'm going to give you a shot now. And he gave the man a shot. He knocked him out cold, man. 
That weasel looking motherfucker Jack Reese was the one that basically counted. When people are knocked out cold like that, normally they would stop the fight completely. You know? No matter what y'all believe would have happened in that fight, he knocked Tyson Fury out cold. He did. There's no fucking debating. And he rematched this motherfucking egghead bastard anyway. And you see what happened in the second fight, right? It's a bad injury to end. So he was going to try to walk off with the title and try to go undisputed with this motherfucking uh, blockhead bastard who been fucking ducking Wilder for years as well. Yo, that's what a guy, man. You know, the fix being there to try to dethrone the brother Deontay Wilder to, you know, cheat him. Shit on his name. The whole nine, man. That's not act like when HBO, hey, they was looking for the next great heavyweight, right? They didn't. They never even mentioned Wilder's name at all, ever. They was trying to uplift uh, Brian Jennings and Seth Mitchell, Chris Ariola. You know what I mean? And uh, people like that. Fast Eddie Chambers, man. People don't know these things. Because they don't really know about boxing, bro. Even fucking the Irish Mike Perez, they was even trying to promote him, man. They never mentioned Wilder. Look, all none of those dudes made it to nothing. No, none of those guys. Y'all can say what y'all want to say about Wilder, windmill, skinny legs, can't box, can't fight his way out of a paper bag. Whatever you want to say, he made it further than all them bums, man. Every last one of them. You know what they did with Andy Ruiz? Andy Ruiz did beat Joshua and became a, the, like the first Mexican champion or whatever, right? They were trying to do um, Ariella like that years ago. Gave him all them damn chances. Man, Ariella had so many fucking chances versus Vitaly. Uh, versus fucking Bermuda Severn. Even while wow, that man had so many opportunities for the bed, lost every fucking time, man. You know, I don't understand. Don't you know? I know they try to say Fury had a phenomenal comeback story, right? Say he come from depression, drugs, the whole what have you, and he, he became back to his champion, he even became a champion, right? And you got a brother like Deontay Wilder, who basically started boxing as an adult. A young adult, but an adult nonetheless, man. And he was doing it to try to take care of his fucking daughter, yo. Go give no props to a guy who never fucking boxed, picked this shit up as an adult, and become champion, man. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? If that's not American success story, I don't know what the fuck is, man. That shit don't happen. One of the most marketable names is not the most marketable name in boxing today. A person who started boxing at a fucking adult, man. The goddamn, um, every fighter he ever fought, he has knocked them out. The highest ratio in knockouts in boxing history, man. But still getting no props. But I swear to God, boy. Y'all already know what it's about, man. If it's anybody else. Why do you think Tyson Fury got all the props in the world? Comeback story. And you got a guy who picked up a pair of gloves as an adult. He became champion of the world. Became champion of the world as an adult. Picked it up, walked inside the gym, and he never looked back. Became a millionaire, helped take care of his family. Honorable guy, humble. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck else to say, man. It's K Black.